Okay, so now you're all stocked up. Everything's going good. You got preps for six months, a year. Can you protect it? How is your security situation? Can you handle three people kicking your door in at two in the morning? Could you handle, I don't know, 15 people kicking your door in at three in the morning? Do you have any early alert styled equipment that would let you know someone was on your property that has broken the perimeter of your, I don't know, comfort zone? <laughs> You have your stuff staged and ready to go in case something like that did happen. What if uh, there's a grid down and your emergency first alert preps are now not working? A lot of things to think about when it comes to security. A lot of things to think about with any of that defensive stand my ground. This is my house where my family is and... I'm here until I have to bug out or until I'm burned out or something. I mean, there could be so many different things that end up happening to you in such a short period of time. Violence happens fast. You got to remember that. Violence just happens so fast. One minute everything's fine and boom, you're sucker punched. One minute everything's fine, five people are kicking your door in. I've seen fights lead up through lots of talking, but when something really bad is going to happen, it seems like it just hits you right now. When it hits you right now, there is a limited amount of time to react. You need to be as ready as possible. And it would truly suck to wake up at 2, 3 in the morning, hop out of bed, you know, trying to completely wake up and having to deal with something that could be life-changing to say the least just be as ready as you possibly can run through these scenarios in your head uh, plan for it set your perimeter up the way that you think is going to best suit you for your situation whether that's six foot privacy fences on one side of the house and I don't know a little a little dog that's big defense little dogs are big defense so they're bah, 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 bah over everything they bark over everything some big dogs don't bark as much they might be better for the fight but you might not get that first alert wake up notice there's a lot of little things you could do that would help you as far as getting you ready for a fight but if you don't go through the stuff some of the stuff's kind of like riding a bike though you know oh yeah i could just hop up and I know I could pop X amount of rounds into a certain size target with no problem. But now add the fact that you were just woken up out of sleep. Uh, it's pitch black. Yeah, there's a lot of things to go over. Just don't forget of, of, with all the prepping to make sure that you have a way to defend everything. Your family. You know, what's the point of having a year's worth of food if you can't defend it, I guess you would say? Or... It'd be hard to move a year's worth of food, too, without power. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. That's why we say put stuff in all different spots, right? But something to think about. Let me know what you guys think. Can you defend? And uh, first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Everybody else, give me a thumbs up if you would, please, if you enjoyed the video. And uh, we will see you soon. Have a good day.